same way. Um, another thing that I find quite interesting in this presentation is uh, I have invited three hoteliers to give their uh, tips um, on responding their um, on responding to their business, you can even uh, still uh, find them online. Although some I was not allowed to uh, disclose. Eric Smith, uh, he's a director of spa and wellness um, in an ultra luxurious hotel in New York downtown. His advice is that you must acknowledge and go through the feedback objectively. And I completely agree. Objectivity is the key factor. So we don't take the negative online, uh, the negative uh, review personally. We take it professionally and objectively. Although it may be hard, don't take it personal. Remember, this is to help you and your business. Timing is important, so let's go back to the 48 hours, especially when it comes to responding to reviews. If a patron of your establishment or a user of a service you provide feels compelled, either good or bad, to take the time out of their busy lives to write a review, you should take it as a priority. Aim to respond within 24 or 48, so even 24 hours, so basically as fast as you can. Provide an explanation if you need and say, uh, um, provide an explanation. If you need say thank you, say it. This is a great way of potential customers to get a view of uh, the type of service you, pr uh, you provide based on your professional response, genuine care and concern. Hildegard Anselberger is a general manager um, of a Langham Hotel in Shenzhen, China. Uh, I used to work with her. She was um, she was at that time uh, director of food and beverage, and she's an amazing leader. So if you ever have a chance to uh, work with her, you're a very lucky one. <laughs> and she said the most important things when handling disgruntled guest customers are speed and authenticity. And I love the word authenticity uh, that she used. And I think that taking it offline is the best way to. Uh, to show the authenticity, picking up the phone and calling the guest. The faster uh, you get back to the guest and are able to reach out to the actual person instead of drawn out conversation in public, the better. So encourage a personal conversation one-on-one -on -one wherever possible by acknowledging the review, apologize for the incident and invite the guest to reach out to you personally as to discuss further and find a suitable solution that fits the guest. And this is the key thing. Um, quite often I face situations where hoteliers, uh, whatever happened, they give a bottle of wine. They give a box of chocolates. No. And there are situations we don't, when we don't want a wine, we don't want chocolates, we don't want flowers. We just want the issue to be sorted in a timely manner and acknowledged and just to hear a thank you or I'm sorry. So I love that she uh, highlighted that. Um, writing a review, um, writing a review means that for whatever reason, the guest was so upset by something that even um, hours or days after the fact, he still felt strongly enough to write this review. Remember that hurt emotions are not rational, so the emotion has to be removed from the conversation. First at your end, exactly, and, and then on the guest. If we remove our emotions, the negativity or fear or stress, it will be felt by the guest and it will bring it to a nice conversation. Um, what on our end constitutes a simple breakdown in operational procedure is on the guest end, a lack of respect for his needs. And you don't do not want to compound this feeling by answering the guest with empathy phrases of sincerest apologies and deep regret. <laughs> be sincere honest and talk to them from a point of a one real person so let's humanize our reply um mr clement hearth was a uh, general manager mandarin oriental mostly in uh, asia i also had the opportunity to uh short in a short time but work with him he's an amazing leader his uh, advice is to respond to the comment in the original language of the guest and seek advice from your marketing and communications team when drafting it. It is a great advice. If you have a good marketing and communications, they will be the best one to uh, assist you with drafting it. 
If the comment is negative and you don't want to respond in a lengthy message that might be misunderstood from the general audience, try to leave your personal contact, detail, contact details to ensure communication with the guest offline. Exactly, to be more authentic, to have the first-hand review and speak to the guest. Then you can also hear him on the phone, hear his mood, emotions, and then it's easier to take it from there and obviously invite them back. Speaking to the customer personally, particularly after a less positive experience at the hotel, is always helpful and might turn this guest into a repeat customer. Of course, and as mentioned before, uh, we should be our service should be so attentive and so proactive that we catch the guest before he leaves the hotel to find out if something happens. We can read it from the body language. We can read it from the communication, from the way he talks. Observation, uh, of course, uh, in a discreet way, discreet observation will tell us if the guest was satisfied or not, if we will read something later on TripAdvisor, if it will be good or bad. Um, now let's move to some excellent um, examples of uh, thoughtful and authentic uh, replies to negative feedback that I found on TripAdvisor. Um, I like uh, using them as the examples of how to respond um, to the guests. Um, we have the first one on the left corner. Dear guests, thank you for staying at, I have to remove the hotel name, <laughs> uh, and for taking the time to share your experience on TripAdvisor. It is through the feedback that we receive from our guests that we are able to constantly improve on our levels of service. And I would like to thank you for bringing our obser your observation to my attention in, and in such a constructive way. So he, he, you, can, you can clearly see um, being genuinely thankful for a negative review, uh, appreciation of uh, listing out what happened and taking it in a constructive way. Um, secondly, I'm sorry to hear that some aspects of your experience fell short of the standards that you would rightfully expect from a hotel such as ours, and I apologize for any inconvenience caused. So we have now the apology part. Please rest assured that your feedback pertaining to reservations, room facilities, spa reception, and dining experience has been shared with the related department for immediate action. Once again, please accept my humble apologies. It must have been a big complaint if you have so many departments listed, but look how well it was handled. We hope that your experience with us uh, back then will not prevent you from choosing us again in the future, and only you will give us soon opportunity to make amends. My colleagues and I, so it's again uh, a personally approach, not we, it's just I and the colleagues, look forward to welcome you back to the hotel next time your travel brings you to, back to Shanghai. If I can be of any assistance in making your arrangements for your next day, please feel free to contact me. So look, even a general manager gives his personal uh, email address to, to personally make the arrangements. This is big because uh, there are so many general managers who are uh, easily uh, disclosing their emails. Um, that's obviously Mr. Uh, Mr. Clements Hearth. Um, if you want to look for some other um, replies from him, you can find him uh, on TripAdvisor. There is another one on the corner, on the right side um, down corner. <clears throat> Dear mm -mm, name of the guest, thank you for the review. I was pleased to read you enjoyed our stunning lobby and rooms. So he started with what the guest um, appreciated. Um, please accept my apologies that you did not that you did not enjoy your breakfast with us. We do offer a large buffet selection, but also have an extensive a la carte menu, which offers a range of Khmer and Chinese noodle and rice dishes which are all cooked freshly to order following your comments i've spoken with my food and beverage team and we will work with the brasserie team to ensure that our breakfast options are fully 
explained to all guests when they arrive. I am sorry we're not made aware of these options when dining. So we we see where the shortfall was. It was a good. Um, it was uh, it was good to read you enjoy. So back again, we appreciate what was good. So uh, we 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 stress what was good to keep um, to keep the 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 positive things up. It was good to read you enjoyed the sky bar. Uh, although I'm sorry you did not enjoy our Cuban band, our <laughs> our band play on Thursday and Friday night and offer a lively atmosphere inside. Sora for guests to dance. We do, of course, have the DJ in our sky bar background music with whiskey library for guests looking um, for a different atmosphere. Now, this is the paragraph I would like to highlight. I was disappointed we were not aware of your comments regarding breakfast until you checked out, as I am confident that my team would have been able to address your concerns. And although I was pleased my team discussed your breakfast comments upon checkout, I am sorry that your offer of, uh, of an upgrade on your next visit was not acceptable. So it is a great way of saying, instead of saying why you didn't tell us, you should have told us, it, he, he uh, the general man, manager expressed a regret that he was not aware. So I would appreciate if I knew before. It's a beautiful way of saying that. Um, I would be delighted to further discuss your feedback as it is always disappointing for me and the team when a guest leaves us and it's not totally delighted when uh, with their stay. Uh, this is the very humanist way of saying uh, we are upset that we were not um, able to uh, to satisfy you. Um, I will not go through all of these. I think this will be um, this will be uh, enough. Once you receive the PDF, you can go through the rest. But these are great examples. Um, I think uh, I think I have. Uh, shared enough of the um, suggestions and now uh, back to you. <laughs> do, do, oh. Abby, sorry. Hi, thank you. Um, one moment. Okay, so thank you so much, um, Marta, uh, for your presentation. I know that we have um, learned a lot about uh, online negative reviews and how to handle them in the correct manner. Um, we do have some questions for you, Marta. Um, if you are ready to answer them, sorry, give me one moment. There we go. Okay, so our first question is on TripAdvisor, since it is an open platform, how could you make sure that the negative review is genuine and not fake? Um, it's not like we will always know, but it's a very good question. Um, in plenty of hotels, especially the luxury ones, uh, can you repeat the question? Sure. It says how, how do you know it is genuine? Yeah. Yes, and how, yes. you know, not fake and not fake. So first of all, you can, you can find the guest name. I'm sure the guests who are, who are, um, fake one and want some freebies, they will leave their name. So you can quickly go name to this to uh, with the name. You can go quickly to the system, and verify with your team who was the one serving the guests. Then you have the feedback from your team. You know what is the situation. I'm sure that the team will tell you whether the guest wanted really something for free and get some treats. Mm -hmm. They will tell you. The team will 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 be the best one to to ask and they, their feedback will be crucial in judging it also the tone of the reviews very often tells you what the guests want if they say um if if they still find some positive things in the hotel people who want freebies they they don't write anything positive everything is it's a drama. Everything is, is completely bad. People who don't want freebies, they will find positive things in their hotel. They will say that although they hated the, the spa treatment, they loved the service uh, in the restaurant. And people who want freebies, they will say, oh, the spa was horrible. Uh, the restaurant could have been better. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, 
Another question is, how can we reply to positive reviews? I know that is not the topic, but I've noticed many positive reviews left without a reply. And I believe there should have been a, a warm, appreciating reply. Absolutely. I love uh, the fact that someone asked this question and thought about it because it is exactly like with uh, making us happy. It is easy uh, getting a, a positive review. That's great. And it just stays there and plenty of hotels just leave them. Oh, because it's good. Then we don't answer. And this is completely wrong because uh, through answering every uh, reply, we show the guest that we do care. And um, leaving the positive uh, ones without a reply gives the feeling of, oh, so if I say something good, I don't even hear a thank you. If someone gives you a compliment, do you say thank you? Of course you do. So this is what we should do as well. Uh, it does not have to be so extensive. Uh, I mean, none of this should be extensive, but it doesn't have to be so detailed. But a thank you, a genuine thank you, and uh, definitely an invitation back on the end. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, another question we have is, do you think people who have written the negative review will want to speak to the general manager or the email that was replied to from the organization or hotel? Or do you think they just want to have the review out there for everyone to see and they don't want to actually talk to um, the general manager? Um, very often, um how it looks is that obviously the GM leaves his email address, but then there's either a guest service manager or rooms division director or a EAM who is contacting and reaching out to the guest. Uh, sometimes if it's food and beverage and the director of food and beverage, if it's regarding rooms, spa, um, a director in charge of their department. Um, I think that uh, it's we should not ask ourselves the question what, what if the guests don't want to uh, don't want to contact because the first thing the right the first right thing to do is try mm -hmm. we never know if they want or don't want unless we try and this is where we have our answer i think that as a true uh, hotelier um we should try to be proactive and definitely try to build the relationship again, regain the trust. If the guest will tell us that he's no longer interested, that's it. Um, I have a I have a story about it. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had um, workshops regarding handling uh, guest complaints. And after the workshops, there was one girl who asked me a question and she was like, so... Marta, were you always so successful with every guest complaint you faced? I said, it's a great question because first of all, she's looking for something authentic. And I said, I did fail a couple of times. We, we, we as hoteliers, we have to take into consideration that sometimes we will fail with our gestures. The guests will reject us. But the first step is, is to take the opportunity to try we fail when we don't try and um and the thing is and, and the story is that uh in my experience i had a very famous chef uh walking out on me without even letting me speak to him regarding the issue that happened and i tried and he basically left the hotel he went to he went packed and he just left but if i didn't try um I would regret it. At least I know the guests will tell you. So I think that the that the that the process is to first do the right thing, pick up the phone, call the guest, or reach out through the email if you have. And do not ask about the rating, but do call the guest sincerely, like a human to human. Listen, you had a bad stay with us. I am really interested what happened because I would like to have you back with us and improve it. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, and one last question is, do you think online reviews or negative online reviews are just are an opportunity for companies um, like before companies would even pay money, you know, to to learn about their clients and their customers? Exactly. This is what uh, what we spoke um, in the beginning, that this is absolutely a complimentary mystery shopping. Mm -hmm. It is a complimentary report where our shortfalls are. And we should absolutely not start with searching for the blame. 
but searching for the lesson. Maybe it should help us improve a process in the hotel. Maybe we lack appreciation of our team. Maybe there is something else. Maybe there is something mechanical that we need to improve in the rooms. But definitely, this is a complimentary feedback, firsthand, real time. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. everyone. Um, that's all I see in the in the chat box for the questions. Um, I don't know, Martha, if you have a a, a last page on your presentation. Um, I just found out that I don't. <laughs> no, okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, I saw it, but that's fine. Okay, um, so that concludes today's lecture. Thank you again, Martha, for being with us today. Thank and you so much. Everyone who participated and joined us. Thank you. Um, please make sure to look out on our socials for any upcoming events, and we wish you a great day ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I wish you soon a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, you as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.